Hey guys, Matt here. I want to go ahead and do a little review on a product that I just started using um, for a few parents, um, some of my clients. It's called Deep Freeze Standard. Um, Deep Freeze basically takes a like a snapshot of your computer. You know, let's say your computer's working just fine. You've got all the programs you want, all the settings are set no viruses, things like that. It'll take basically just take a, a snapshot, like a point in time snapshot of that PC. And, um, you know, let's say your kid comes in and messes up the computer, installs a virus, uninstalls a program, changes the settings. All you have to do is reboot and your computer's right back to where it was when you, you know, liked it. <laughs> uh, when you had everything set up correctly. So I downloaded a trial and I just want to go ahead and show you how it works. I don't think this video will be that long. Um, it goes by pretty quick actually. So it's from a company called Ferronix. Uh, if you just do a search for deep, uh, deep freeze standard, um, you'll get a link to download. They give you a 30 day, 30 uh, day trial. So it's a small file. It's only 17 megabytes. We'll go ahead and install it. I have a Windows 8.1 PC here. Um, it's fully updated. It's got antivirus turned on, no infections. I've got like one program installed, you know, uh, called WinRAR. Um, and we're just going to go through the installer here. We're going to say use evaluation if you just want to test this. Um, on this screen right here, we're going to go ahead and freeze our C drive. So freeze means you can't make changes to it anymore. That's, that's it. You can always unfreeze it. You can unfreeze it anytime you want. Like, let's say you want to install a new program. Well, unfreeze it, install that program, reboot and refreeze it again. Nobody can remove that program unless you unfreeze it. So I'll give you a demo of all that stuff. It's kind of confusing with the words. So let's just go ahead and say next. We're going to go ahead and create something called a thaw space. And thaw space is really important because it's a place where you can save documents and install programs that can be changed, can be deleted. So if you have, um, you know, somebody creating all kinds of like Word documents or Excel documents, you can save them to this, dr to, uh, this drive E right here, which is a thaw space. Um, anything on C... Um, is still frozen, so uh, that would not be saved if they reboot. Again, I'll give you a demo of that. So anything frozen, as soon as you reboot, it's right back to where you took that initial uh, snapshot. Anything thawed can be changed, deleted, modified, whatever. So we created a one gigabyte thaw space. That's plenty to save, you know, all kinds of documents and things like that. So while I, I love the idea of deep freeze, um, it does cost me a lot of work because uh, I usually don't hear back from those clients again because, you know, they don't call me back and say, oh, my kid messed it up again. Uh, you know, they, they did this or that. I just never hear back because as soon as they reboot, their PC is perfect again. So it's great for that. A lot of schools use this. Um, a lot of schools, like coffee shops, things like that. Um, it's 45 bucks, pretty cheap. Uh, so it'd save a lot on, you know, having to take your PC in to get it clean, tuned up, all that stuff. Um, yeah, you don't have to deal with that. Just reboot and bang, that's it. You're right back to a pristine configuration. So. Anyway, well, that's rebooting. I'll go ahead and pause this. Okay, so just reboot it here. And as soon as you log in, you get the screen. Um, would you... Whoops, sorry. had a volume thing there. Uh, Deep Freeze password has not been set. Would you like to set the password now? Um, to gain access to Deep Freeze, um, press Shift and double-click the Deep Freeze icon. We want to go ahead and set a password. And it's going to take a second because this just started. 
slow, uh, it's kind of a slow virtual machine. So, so yeah, you do want to set a password so nobody can just get down down here in this tray and um, you know shift double click and open up your deep freeze and make changes you know by thawing it out. So. Okay, that took a little while to pop up, um, and it's saying not responding right now, but I think that's because this little virtual machine is so slow. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in my uh, password here. So this password will prevent people from um, making changes to my deep frozen PC. Uh, so let's see. Yeah. All right, so we are going to apply and reboot. So now, at this point, nobody can make changes to my uh, deep freeze configuration without knowing my special password. Okay, so we rebooted, and I can see that I've got that little polar bear icon down there in the bottom right-hand corner. So any changes I make right now uh, will automatically not be saved to this computer. So I can delete files, just delete all this stuff off my desktop. You know, empty the recycling bin. I can um, do all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm, I am the, the uh, administrator, like a lot of people would be in their home environment. Um, so I can go into Windows and I don't know. We'll just delete a debug folder if we can. Well, we deleted a few items in it. <laughs> Let's try help. Probably won't work either. Never tried to do that. So a few items went. Um, so you can make all kinds of changes. I could change the background to just flowers. And I can go ahead, cause more havoc, and just uninstall a program. So there's WinRAR. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. It'll let you do anything. You can go ahead and install viruses, all that stuff. Doesn't matter. You know, you should, let me put this out as a note, you should have antivirus on here because you can be working on this PC for days or weeks or months and not reboot and this thing could be infested with malware so you definitely want to have some kind of antivirus but uh, know that if you think you have something you can always reboot and it's gone um, also deep freeze protects the bootloader so no rootkit can actually inject itself into the bootloader so uh, we'll go ahead and reboot and We'll let that go, our reboot, and when it comes back, you'll see that everything we did is uh, has, has not been committed to this PC. We're going to go right back to when we took the snapshot of when the PC was perfect. Oh, actually, I want to show you the boot process. So, So yeah, this takes a while to boot, but um, I've been gone for months and months and months. I uh, took off for the summer and then I got lazy in the early winter. So I'm going to put up a channel update and kind of let you guys know what I've been up to and what my plans are for the future because I know a lot of people keep asking me. So um, I'll put that up like, I don't know, who knows? I'm not committing to anything, you know, I'm not good at that. I need to get off my lazy butt and do more of these videos. I am getting one of those really super fancy mics, which I'm really excited about. So that's shipping out uh, this week. So I guess my voice will sound different then. Oh, um, I 
All right, so there we go. It's uh, you know, back to the old wallpaper. All those files are back there again. WinRAR is installed. So all the stuff that I did to that computer didn't actually take place, really. You know, it just as soon as you reboot, you're right back to a perfect computer. So what about this thaw space? So if I open up this PC, this icon on my desk desktop. We have a thaw space on drive E. You can see it's one gigabyte. And in this thaw space, I can go ahead and make changes to stuff. So I can go ahead and create a text document. This is where I would save. So I'll call it stuff I want to save. And I'll just go ahead and write, you know, this is some text. And when I reboot, this file will be there. It will not be, de you know, deleted or um, gone, whatever you want to say. Uh, this file will be there. And just to prove that to you, I'll go ahead and do another reboot, but I won't make you sit there and watch the process. Restart. It's going down. I'll pause it for a second. Okay, so boot it back up, and if we open up uh, this PC again, we have the thaw space, and we see our file is still there, um, and the text is still there. So that's a that's basically where you'll save all your documents. You can cre you, you know you can create a, a custom size thaw space. It doesn't have to be one gigabyte. It can be a hundred gigabytes, whatever. It's really all up to you. So, but yeah, you install, uh, you know, uh, programs in there, documents, things that, you know, you need to have changed all the time. Uh, if you do need to make changes to the PC, it's pretty easy. Um, you open up this little tray down here and shift double click on the deep freeze icon. And you're going to go ahead and enter your password. So if you need to make changes to, you know, to the desktop, uh, uninstall, install programs, Windows updates, anything that would change this frozen PC, um, all you have to do is say boot thawed on next restart, and we'll say apply and reboot. And what we're going to go ahead and do is uninstall uh, WinRAR and make sure that gets committed because we're uh, you know, unthawing it at this point. Okay, uh, just got back in from the reboot and we can see that our little polar bear has an X next to him, meaning that we can make changes now. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these files here. Um, let's say we wanna go ahead and get rid of uh, WinRAR. We'll uninstall that. And we'll go ahead and reboot. So as soon as we reboot, the next boot is going to be frozen, and we will not be able to make changes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, to this PC again. So, oops, I hate that little flywheel. All right, and reboot. Okay, so we rebooted, and as you can see, the files on the desktop are gone. Um, and WinRAR has been uninstalled. Um, yet our thawed space, you know, still remains unchanged. We still have our file there, all the text in it. And if we look down at the bottom right hand corner, we're back to being a frozen PC. So that's all. I, I just kind of wanted to give a quick overview of it. I thought it, it works really well for people who, you know, have a PC in their house. They've got like a bunch of kids and they don't want the kids to make any more changes you know they've got it the way it needs to be and um for 45 bucks i don't know man i thought it was a steal they also offer a lot of other products that i want to review so um you might see some of those coming out soon anyway i have to upload this and um like i said i'll uh put up a cha uh, channel update for you guys this week sometime um kind of talk about what i'm up to uh so 
Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.